Wilton Hunt over here. A great question from a client. The question is, why does organic search still matter if the ads are already at the top and then followed by local listing? Typically your website ranking is all the way buried down. Why does it still matter? And that's a very good question. And let me share that with you. So for example, right, the reason I show a mobile search is more than 50% of the searches these days are happening on mobile devices. So it's more accurate to look at mobile search, a mobile behavior these days. So these days, what you see are ads at the top, right? Maximum of four ads. So whenever somebody type in a search term, maximum, they will see four ads at the top, right? So what they see, right? Families will see are going to be ads first. They keep swiping down. If they do end up here, what Google shows are three of the best locally, right, based businesses. Then eventually they will hit this section called organic search. Very often people call this search engine optimization or SEO, right? And typically if you get a lot of spam emails, uh, even I get those spam emails all the time, people email me, it's like, hey, I can get you ranked on first page of Google or top page placement. Typically they are talking about this section down here now. In the good old days, this section do get a lot of hits, right? But you might wonder, hey, right? The ads are up here now. Now you, you see local search and organics further, further buried down. Does it still matter? So this is my thought here is, Obviously, the ads do appear right at the top. More and more people are going to be clicking on these ads, right? Google is a for-profit, so obviously people, Google wants people to click on these ads. This section should be getting majority of the hits because people are looking for a business locally. Then they will scroll down here. So ideally, you want to be ranked right, right at the top as well. And even though people do not scroll all the way down here, less and less people are going down here now, what that helps is even typically what you'll see is those businesses that are ranked locally in one of these three spots, they should also be ranked highly organically because the algorithm are pretty much very often, they're coupled together. Rarely do you see one of these three listings that's not ranked on first page organically because Google looks at a lot of signals to deal with your website these days, such as the website content, your website authority, things like that. So the your traditional SEO ranking signals, they do also help you get ranked in local search. What this means is if you just focus on building citations and uh, if you're not ranked organically, it's going to be very hard to get your ranked in local search. So my thought is, yes, you should still focus on your traditional organic search because organic search, well, if you're highly ranked, it will help you get ranked in local search and help you dominate and stay within the three pack. Second is this section down here, they're not tied to your physical address. So you still can be ranked in other cities nearby because local search, one of those three spots, you will most likely only be ranked in a city you're physically based in. That's why it's called local search. People are looking for business that's uh, most closely uh, nearby but you still can be ranked in multiple cities nearby in organic, okay? So that's why organic still do matter. Obviously, it's uh, less, it's getting less and less attention these days. I would definitely focus on short-term, easy win is trying to get ranked in Google Ads, right? You're just buying an ad placement. Medium term is to make sure you're ranked organically I'm sorry, locally inside one of the three spots. 
And then lastly is to get ranked organically. And this one takes the most amount of time because it's solely based on right, a lot of good quality content on your website. Content is still king. That's probably the most important. For any questions, feel free to reach out to